Hi, and welcome to Basic Works. I'm Clyde, and today we're going to talk about finding the right pre owned mobile home in a park. Stay tuned. Okay, before we get into this, don't forget, hit that like and subscribe. Here we go. I'm going to outline three steps here to help you find the exact home you're looking for. Step one, you're going to want to create a checklist, sort of a wish list of the things you're looking for when you go through mobile homes to find the exact one. One of the first things you're going to want to look for is the price. Remembering most of the time when you buy a pre-owned mobile home, you're dealing with cash. There aren't many lenders, if any, who will make a loan on a pre-owned mobile home. So keep this in mind when you're thinking about the size and everything of the mobile home you're looking for. The price range is going to make a big difference. Along with the price, you're going to want to look at the size of the mobile home being a single wide mobile home or a double wide mobile home. That makes a big difference because a single wide mobile home, keep in your mind, could be around 800 to 1,000 square feet. And just like common sense would say, a double wide is going to be twice that. So a double wide typically you're going to find is 1,500 or so square feet. Another thing you're going to want to look at is the number of rooms, specifically how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms, and the size of those bedrooms and bathrooms. So as you start looking at pictures of these mobile homes, maybe you're looking at them online or whatever, you're going to get a feel for the appearance of the rooms, which is going to go hand in hand with the age of the mobile home most of the time. You're going to want to look at the number of parking spaces. Depending on how many vehicles you have and how much company you may be getting, you're going to deal with parking. Typically, a lot of mobile home parks, you're going to find two parking spaces. So keep an eye on that when you're looking also. As far as the parking spaces, when you look at these homes, you're going to want to look at the relationship from the parking space to the door of the mobile home. Let's say it's raining outside or snowing, something nasty, who knows. But if you got to park a long distance from your front door, that means you're going to be carrying your groceries from the car to the front door in the rain or the snow. Keep this in mind. If it's a nice sunny day when you're looking at these homes, it's going to seem great because it's a nice sunny day. But remember, you want to be able to park as close as you can to your door for the days when it is foul weather. Now, when you're looking at the home, don't forget the exterior because you could have a shed on the property. Sheds come in handy in mobile homes. You use them for a lot of things, including a workspace, storage, stuff like that. Look at this when you're buying a mobile home. While you're talking about the shed, you're gonna to wanna to look at the decks and the porches. You're going to want to have a deck big enough to put your grill and your patio stuff out there. Because if you enjoy cooking outside, you probably want to make sure you have a good sized deck. You may want to have a covered porch also, so that when you get company and stuff like that, they're not standing in the rain waiting for you to get to the door. And with the way Amazon is today, you're going to want to keep all these packages dry that are showing up at the front door. When we're talking about the outside also, you're going to want to look at the condition of the shrubs and the grass and the lawn, everything like that. Because if it has shrubs that they didn't trim on a regular basis, these shrubs could be enormous and you may have to get them removed. There's going to be a little bit of expense for that. Just keep an eye on all of the exterior condition. Let's move to step two now. We've got our wish list. We know what we're looking for. Now the goal is to find it. So how do we find it? You can start with online searches. There's a million search engines out there for housing, home, 
stuff like Zillow, Realtor, all of those, you can find mobile homes that are listed by agents. You'll find those online and you can scroll through the pictures there without ever leaving the comfort of your house. You could choose to pick a real estate agent as well. They'll help you come up with some ideas too. They're probably already listed on Zillow, but they may know of some other ones. Here's another route you can go to help find one. You can go through your list of favorite parks and occasionally do a drive through there because a lot of times people could post these homes for sale by owner. You're not going to see them online. They're not going to come up in some search engine. What you're going to see is a little for sale by owner sign hanging in one of the windows or in the front lawn. You're going to want to look for those. Okay, so through those means, driving through the parks, talking to realtors, looking online, now you pick a couple out, you contact, whether it's an agent or the owner who's selling it themselves, contact them, go there, do a walkthrough, and get a real feel for the interior and does it have everything on your wish list. Okay, let's go to step three. Now, in step three is where you're actually going to purchase the mobile home. The first thing you're going to want to do before you think about buying it is get park approval from the park that it's in. What you're doing is you're going to contact the park manager, fill out the forms and get approval to live in the park so you can keep the mobile home there and you can live there. That's when they'll run the background check, the credit check, all of this stuff. Okay, once you have your park approval and everything's set to go, you've agreed on the price of the mobile home and everything else. Now it's time for settlement. These pre-owned mobile homes are a lot like a car. So you're going to need the cash to take the settlement to buy it. There's not many banks around, if any, who are going to create loans for a pre-owned mobile home. Just keep that in mind. When you go to settlement, get all the paperwork done, transfer all the money you're going to want to get the title to the mobile home. It's a lot like the title to a car. So the way that you get your title to cars is the way you're going to get the title to the mobile home, whether it's a DMV or through a notary service, however you normally would do it for a car. Okay, once all that's done, you've got the title, you've got park approval, everything's set, you've got your new mobile home. If you found this helpful, don't forget, hit that like and subscribe. We'll catch you the next time.